Other than God wiping away the tears from the eyes of his children, he wipes them away. That means they go away. Whatever you're facing today, it's only temporary. This world is going to be destroyed with fire. And it shall pass away in the fashion thereof. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall never pass away, says Father. Comfort one another with these words, brothers and sisters. And even if you are not a believer, comfort yourselves with these words as well and become believers. Come on into the ark where there's peace and there's hope. The light of a better day, the hope for a better day, because there will be a better day. And I can say this of a surety, and my foundation that I stand on is the word, the spoken word of our almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of you. In your minds, let's journey to a place that is pure splendor, sheer beauty. And I will say perhaps beautiful meadows, mountains, thundering lightning, as we know to be recorded in the Holy Scriptures, to be present around the throne of God. Prayer music, food, laughter, joy, peace, hope, love. Perhaps people walking around, holding hands with loved ones, with new friends. Imagine. No need for the sun, for the glory of the Lamb of God is the light of heaven. No need for the sun. And there is no night there. Hear the laughter of children. Many that were aborted, now reunited with their parents. And perhaps 
their mothers and their fathers given the opportunity to rear them in the kingdom of God. Well, Father said, Behold, I make all things new. He will give back to you what was stolen from you or what you were deceived and tricked out of in this life's existence. That's how good he is. Now, I know that's not specifically recorded in the Holy Scriptures, but I know what is. And that is, behold, I make all things new. So if all things are made new, then all things are made new. Hope and trust in the word of God. God is not a man that he should lie. His word will never return to him void, ever. For those of you that you never had love on earth that was reciprocated. And if you did, that loved one or that spouse is no longer here. In heaven, everybody will love you. Everybody does love you. They don't start when you get there. They love you right now, though they be there and you all be here. But when you get there, it will be displayed. They can hug you. They can kiss you. They can grab your hand and say, hey, come, let me show you this. Come on, come with me. Hey, your mom is over there. Come on, come on. Or they may not say that. They may say, hey, I got a surprise for you. And they take you to a beautiful meadow. You see a lady walking in white, a long white gown made out of clean linen. And her back is turned towards you. And then all of a sudden she turns around. And you behold the face of your mother. Grinning from ear to ear. Teeth just as white and pearly. Hair all done up. And all you can say is Jesus, God knows. Jesus made this happen. Behold, I make all things new. Father says. Meditate on things that are lovely. Things that bring you peace. This world, yes, it is war. But there's paradise on the other side. You have to go through this world to get to God's kingdom. So keep on walking. Oh, that body you're in, oh, honey, you'll shed that. I know that body has been through some things, but you'll shed that. That'll go into the ground and decay. But that glorified body, my gosh, God's got a new body for you. Behold, I make all things new father says God is not a man that he should lie for those of you that you lost your spouse and, on, and you just don't want to live anymore but you know they're with the Lord you know they're in heaven doing something when you leave meaning when you fall asleep in Jesus Christ you'll be reunited it will feel so good. Yes, Lord. For you sisters out there, you've been looking for love in all the wrong places down here in this world. And you brothers too. I think everybody has. I know people don't marry nor give in marriage in heaven, but you might just have a companion. You don't know what Jesus has for you up there. What you were wishing for here, perhaps that person or that individual is there. Father said, behold, I make all things new. Comfort one another with these words. God bless you all.